when you're in the market for the very best earbuds right. Now we're pretty sure your mind is automatically thinking about the AirPods Pro 2 and the Sony WF-1000XM4. Being the best in the business, it's hard to be disappointed by either of these buds since they pretty much do everything you'd want from a pair of earbuds and then some. But in comparison could you make a wild guess on which one of these buds will come out as the superior one? So it's the best, ladies and gentlemen, cause things aren't always as they appear. So let's dive in and find out. Well, rocking an almost identical appearance to the predecessor the AirPods Pro 2 comes with a pair of extra small silicone tips providing a better seal and fit for people with smaller ears. Sony's earbuds on the other hand aren't exactly what we'd call small although 10 smaller than the predecessors. A bit Fitbit to use at first but once you get the hang of it you're prone to be spoiled with incredible fit and the intuitive touch sensors. Sony's gold standard earbuds have managed to hold onto the throne for so long all types of the phenomenal noise cancellation, uber sound quality, and above average features. They connect via Bluetooth 5.2 and promise you a hefty 12 hours of playtime with an additional 12 miles from the charging case which you can power up through either USB-C or Kai Wireless take your pick. Also, you'll be getting Sony's LDA codec for streaming those sweet high-resolution melodies without compromising on the quality from compatible devices, alongside the DSE Extreme algorithm that upscaled digital audio to bear some whatever resemblance to high-res audio. Additionally, you'll be getting Speak to Chat will detect conversation and pauses your media accordingly with the robust app to build that gives you a plethora of customization options. How robust? Well real-time optimization is on par with Sony's 360 reality audio need to say more. But Apple has a few tricks up its sleeves as well. The AirPods Pro 2 upgrades their already impressive H1 to literally the next level calling it H2. And with that pushes the audio quality and noise cancellation even further in comparison where it's not able to cancel two times the noise when compared to the predecessor. This isn't the only trick though, as the AirPods 2 now connect over Bluetooth 5.3. They also as expected support Kai charging Apple's very own max of wireless charging can even draw power from the Apple Watch magnetic charger, and as a last resort the classic lighting for wire charging. You'll be getting fast pair with Apple devices alongside a new adaptive transparency mode that works similarly to Sony Speak to Chat, where it intelligently decides what noises to make you aware of in terms of customization. If you're in the same ecosystem which you should be able to take full advantage of the butts. By the way you'll be able to scan your ears using your phone's 3D face recognition sensor to improve the overall impact of Dolby Atoms spatial audio. A ton of other customization options are there as well, but you gotta dig deep into your iPhone settings making this a relatively complicated procedure to work with when compared with Sony. Oh, let's be forget, now you can adjust volume by swiping up and down on the stamps alongside a speaker on the charging case to locate the case and the lanyard to prevent losing it in the first place. For the battery, this is big for Apple because unlike a signature Apple move they're providing 6 hours of runtime with an additional 30 ounce on the charging case putting it hit on against Sony in terms of battery life. The sound is where Apple has a lot of catching up to do since Sony is still dominating the market with a sound that has great texture, ample substance, and intricate attention to detail well that too with the default audio EQ setup. The noise cancellation is incredible as well but don't go around expecting both quite comfortable level of a MC because that's just bounce. The AirPods Pro 2 on the other hand improves upon the already magnificent audio profile of the base AirPods Pro by providing a sound that's richer and more flavorful with a particularly vibrant bass signature alongside a wide and expensive soundstage. The noise cancelling has also seen a number of upgrades with conversations, being practically inaudible giving the AirPods Pro 2 a subtle edge in terms of noise cancelling. The AirPods Pro 2 now costs about $249 while you can get your hands on the WF-1000XM4 for $279. Now for the verdict, as you can tell from the specs, features, and similar price tag at the end of the day it all comes down to the ecosystem. Sony simply works better with Android in comparison with the AirPods while the AirPods work gracefully with their Apple counterparts. It's very hard to choose between these top-tier RD peripherals based on the specs but why should you go through the trouble when your technology can do it for you? Do let us know what you ended up with eventually as we would love to hear from you. 
And as for everything else don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.